Welcome back, everybody, to the Detroit Lions franchise here on Madden 20. As today, we continue season number five here, our 2-1 Lions. Got a Thursday night game against the 1-2 Atlanta Falcons. Got a few messages to go over, including a frustrated player. Wide receiver Juju Smith-Schuster is frustrated with his role so far this season. And honestly, I'm not surprised, and I can't really blame him because Juju has been very quiet to start the year. Last season, I believe he led the league in receiving yards, put up big numbers, and this year, it doesn't feel like he's been anywhere near as much of a focal point on the offense. Juju's the most talented player on this roster, but just hasn't gotten the targets and hasn't been able to make the plays that you know he wants to be able to make to help this team win. If you compare his numbers the past two seasons, he had 1,200 yards a season ago, averaging 80 a game. This year, he's not even averaging 50 a game. Currently has seven catches for 144 yards and just one score on the young campaign. And these past couple of weeks, he's only gotten three catches in the past two games, both of which were wins. Week one, he was very good, four catches, 71 yards. And then week two and three, he's done nothing. He had a 65-yard score in week two, to be fair, but only one catch. And then week three, eight yards on two catches. So... I understand why he's upset, and I do think the Lions have to make him more of a priority on this offense, or else he's going to continue to get frustrated, he's going to lose confidence, and you don't want one of your best players uh, to really have a morale loss like that. We also have a message from the offensive coordinator, uh, how we want to prep for the Thursday night game. Do we want to emphasize rest or emphasize preparation? Now, we're playing well, we've won two straight games, but I don't want to get too comfortable in this young season quite yet. Our team has a target on our back. We just won the Super Bowl last year. Teams are coming after us. So I think we want to emphasize preparation. Minus five morale boost for everybody, but everybody also gets plus 100 XP. So I suppose that is solid. We started negotiating a future contract last week with TJ Hawkinson. Didn't work out. He wanted more of a bonus and more longevity. That he will get. The Lions have agreed to a five-year, $47 million contract with tight end TJ Hawkinson, almost $19 million of which is guaranteed. So Hawkinson, one of the elite tight ends in the NFL, will be sticking around for another five seasons. He's been excellent in this series, I believe. Pre three Pro Bowl berths, three seasons of over 1,000 yards, and the one year he didn't, back in Season 2, he was banged up for a large chunk of the season. He's been solid this year, nothing crazy. And uh, his yearly salary will not differ too much from the fifth-year option, so I suppose that's fun. Definitely worth the top 10 selection that the Lions used on him a couple of years ago. So here we go, week four action, the one and two Atlanta Falcons head out to Ford Field here in Detroit, Michigan to take on the two and one Detroit Lions. Both teams repping the Color Rush jerseys tonight. I know Color Rush sort of a thing in the past with Thursday night, but both teams are rocking them anyway. Lions got the all grays, Falcons rocking the all reds. As here's Tez Lawson on second down and nine, going to get sacked by Lorenzo Carter. Lions offensive line was not kind to Tez early in this game. Third and 20 now, Lawson under more pressure, hit as he throws, and he connects with Kenny Galladay for the first down. As Cats would say, Gappy Galladay's, and the Lions convert. Third and 21 now, Lawson. He is going to scramble like he's late on a date. Had a receiver deep and open for a second, but is going to get sacked by Lorenzo Carter and another defender. So that would force a punt. Falcons offense did nothing. Here returns the Lions. Lawson on third down, running like a lunatic in the pocket. And he would get lucky. Lawrence Parnell is wide open. That's a big gain for the Lions as they move the chain. Nice catch by the second-year target out of Louisville. Second and 11 now. Lawson. Under more pressure and the speed off the edge of Keanu Neal and Lorenzo Carter is just too much. Quite the start to this game for Lorenzo Carter. Third down and 19 now. Lawson under more pressure. Risky pass for Galladay. That's a first down inside the 20. Excellent pass from Lawson. Nice route from KG. From the 17 now. Lawson short pass to his tight end TJ Hawkinson. The $47 million man will find the end zone. For the score, and the Lions will strike first with a touchdown. They make it 7 to nothing. Falcons have it. Here is Julio hit the stretch. Julio Jones with a gain of 22. Matt Ryan still the quarterback. 
Now from the 42. Ryan will be sacked by Shaquem Griffin. One hand, don't care. Nice play from Griffin. Now it's third down and 16. Matty Ice, gonna eat it. You eat, you win. And he connects with Calvin Ridley, who burns for rookie Devontae Higgins for the touchdown. It's been a pretty rough start uh, for the first round rookie this season, Devontae Higgins. And Atlanta will tie it up at seven. Lions have it now. Fake handoff for Pollard as Lawson sacked again, this time by Takaris McKinley, former first rounder out of the University of California, Los Angeles. That will lead to a third and 18 already four times today. Tez has gotten sacked. He's under some pressure here and will connect with Kenny Galladay, who gains about 17. Now it's a fourth and inches. Interesting play call, and the Lions are going to go for it in their own territory. Gutsy call, and it works. Carry on gets the first down, putting him at six carries for nine yards. Nice. Now from the 48, Lawson. Throw on the run for Hawkinson, who brings it to the 26. Only seven completions, but already 167 yards for Lawson. And then on second down, there's Juju Smith-Schuster with the touchdown. Wants to have more of a role on the offense. Plays like that should help. Detroit up 14-7, ensuing Lions possession. They've definitely been winning the time of possession battle so far. Lawson gets it to Smith-Schuster, who jukes out Desmond Trufant and will bring it to the 48. Excellent play after the catch from Juju. Third and six now. Lawson under pressure from another speedster off the edge. That was Desmond Trufant, the cornerback, getting the play. And the Falcons are winning with speed so far today defensively. But they're not winning the game. But that might change here. Higgins is burnt again. This time by Julio Jones for the touchdown. Devontae Higgins wasn't viewed as super slow coming out of college, but I'm sure Lions fans are getting teased Tabor flashbacks. Here's Lawrence Parnell on the ensuing Lions possession, bringing it to the 33. Now a fourth and two. Here's the uh, seventh round rookie kicker, Mr. Irrelevant, Tim John, with a 43-yard field goal. It's good. John has been really solid so far as a rookie. Lions now up 17-14 as we advance to the second half. Wildcat on third and three for Kendrick Bourne, and he has stopped. Tracy Walker, the safety, was born ready on that one. Now third and nine for the Lions. Here is Lawson. Going to scramble out to his left side. He has open running room. And look at this. Tez Lawson with a nice first down run. Or did he? Looked like he was across the line. They're going to say no. Nice stop by Atlanta. They get the ball back, but not with great field position. From the seven. Ryan is picked by Chidobe Awuzie. You can't spell intercepted. Without the D. Lions now get it back inside the red zone at the 18. Second and 10. Lawson hit as he throws for Lawrence Parnell for six. He's going to uh, put the football to his chest. Gronk spike. Lions now up by 10. Atlanta has it. Third and 10. Screen pass. But that play is going to be read like a book by Jared Davis. And the running back has nowhere to go. Third and 12 now for Detroit. Here is Lawson. Going to get it to Lawrence Parnell. The out route. Juking out of bounds for a gain of 20. Lions doing a nice job of moving it on this drive. Or maybe not. Tony Pollard, the change of pace back, loses about five. Nasty hit. And now Atlanta will get it back here. Once again, starting at the seven. This time, there's no interception, though. This time, Kendrick Bourne will catch it. And get a long gain about to the 26. Excellent play from Bourne. That's a gain of 67. Very next play. Ryan, the Boston College graduate, going to be sacked by Jaquavius Highsmith, a former Oregon Duck. Highsmith's gotten off to a pretty nice start this year. So now Atlanta's going to be forced to kick the field goal from 38 yards out. The kick is right down Main Street, as that's Kaimi Fairbairn. Atlanta only down by a possession, and they would get the ball back shortly after as Ryan going to go up the middle just a little for a nice first down gain to Calvin Ridley. Ryan with only 10 completions, but 272 yards. These quarterbacks are both really airing it out today. No short plays. Both teams are stretching the field. Atlanta goes deep for Kendrick Bourne, who's had an awfully busy day. Bourne with the touchdown. Falcons tie it up at 24. 
Lions going to try to drive down the field and regain the lead. Lawson going to heave it downfield. You might as well call him Kim John un because he's launching nukes. Connecting with Juju Smith-Schuster. His second touchdown of the day. Lions back up by seven. First down for Ryan under pressure, and he's going to be sacked by the rookie defensive tackle out of USC, Jamichael Michael Shepard, for a loss of about six. Now third and 16 for the Falcons. Got to get a big play here. Ryan has time in the pocket. Now under pressure, and he's brought down by Jaquavius Highsmith and Jared Davis. That would lead to a fourth and 27. Atlanta would wisely punt it, and now the Lions have it. Third and four from the 44. For the game, Pollard is stopped for a loss of two. Tony Pollard just could not go anywhere today. Neither could carry on Johnson for that matter. Lions could really not run the ball. And Atlanta could not on that play. Ito Smith loses three, courteous of Renwick. Falcons now have it at a one. Third and 14. Matt Ryan trying not to pull off a Dan Orlovsky. Instead, he pulled off a Mitch Trubisky. What I mean by that is he got picked by a Wouzie. But there's a flag. A roughing the passer on Jermichael Shepard. Not only is the turnover negated, but it's an automatic Falcons first down, and they are still alive from the 15. Nice 24-yard gain for Bourne. Fourth and five now. This is the game. If Atlanta doesn't get it, they're done. As Ryan, short pass caught by Julio Jones, and the Falcons are still alive. But the clock is ticking. 12 seconds left at the 32. What do you do? You probably should go to the end zone or go for an out route. No. Short pass up the middle. EA Sports is just a stupid game. And the Lions will win because the Falcons are pure idiots. 31-24 year final. Detroit improves to 3-1. Falcons, meanwhile, go down to 1-3.